Welcome to yet another episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet? Where you scourge the internet for the greatest amount of filth you can find and then you send it to me and I put it in a video. So let's begin. human beings is their ability to overcome sad situations like breakups. Hey sexy. <laughs> Heart. Don't you have a boyfriend, anime happy face? Nah, I broke up with him. And you're looking fine, another anime happy face. It's great to know that women can recover so fast over guys sometimes, and I think that's a benefit of our generation. And uh, also babies and teen pregnancy are great too, said no one ever. Sometimes it's good to get things off your chest in a public way. Let everyone know what's going on in your life. Sometimes it helps you feel a lot better. Probably not in this case. Confession 10. I trimmed my pubes today as they were too long. I'll never do that again. To think that there were in fact nine confessions before this frightens me, but at the same time intrigues me. Some people like to brag of their accomplishments online, which is completely understandable uh, most times. Got told last night by two different guys that I give the best blowjobs ever. I'm so proud. Are you proud, Mom and Dad? And that is followed up with a response from who apparently would be the father. Can you teach your mom then? That was a... Uh, a valid question. Um, uh, fuck. This next one I couldn't really tell where they were from, but it sounds like they're Scottish. They're typing like they're Scottish, so here. That moment, uh, you're at the store, smiley face, and you look at the girl, that ugly smiley face, and she feels prettier than you. Ha 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 ha. L-M-F-A-O, smiley face, really funny. Good shite, that was fucking weird, wasn't it? And what's any social network without tons of sluts everywhere? Show some, get some, is what this girl chose to put on her picture, revealing her chesticles. A little tip for you, though most men like boobs, most men, men, I said, don't like girls who just show them to every other guy in the world. Some guys like to wonder what a girl looks like without any clothes on. And we've got another toilet one. Just logged on to Facebook. Got some Twitter on the shitter. YOLO! You fucking moron. And yet another slutty McSlutterton. Suck my cockiness, she puts. And and lick my persuasion bitch, heart, backward smiley face. <sighs> Sorry, I was just uh, checking off that she's a whore. Go on Facebook, friend a few people, and you'll find certainly a lot of people that put up pictures that think they're hot. <sighs> yeah, I think the only thing more disturbing than a, uh, a Snorlax in a dress would probably be the fact she has her grandmother taking the picture. And what would this series be without a whammy at the end just describing how corrupt our world truly is? So what I get drunk every weekend? So what I smoke weed all day, every day? So what I love getting with boys? So what if I'm 12? You don't know my story. Two people liked that. Two people supported. Two people saw that message and they said to themselves, yes, you know what? I'm 11. I should be able to do that shit too. God, if there were enough bullets in the world, Actually, they probably are. So that concludes this episode of Why Would You Put That on the Internet, You Dumb Soul Bitch? 
So what you can do to help out the next episode is just stalk your friends, stalk friends of friends, find things on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, wherever, where people just put ridiculous statuses, posts, pictures, whatever it is, and screen cap them by pressing like the print screen button. Do that. I don't know what it is for a Mac, whatever. And then send them to me either through my Facebook fan page or my Twitter, which is linked below in the description. And balls.